in the basic course I showed you how to do basic formulas so these basic formulas we only did on one sheet so for example we did the plus the minus the multiply and the divide but again we did it on one sheet how do you do this on more than one sheet so there's a few ways you can do it if I'm going to start off with I'm just going to enter some numbers on all the sheets so I'm doing this all in A1 and then I'm going to insert the sheet that's going to give me the total. So if I want the totals of all of that, the first way, you can just start with equals. You can go to sheet 1. I'm selecting that one. So now you can see on top there, it refers to sheet 1. You can go to sheet 2. Can you switch your first to sheet 2? And then you can go to sheet 3. So now, I'm going to get the total of all of that. So that's the first way of doing it. The other way, so you could just do a sum formula. I click on the first sheet on A1 and I press control and select up until sheet 3. So now it will say sum sheet 1, 2, sheet 3 and it will sum A1. So that's the other way. Then the last way of doing it, I could go and name every cell. So I click on top there, name the cell cell A, I enter. Just confirm that it's there. I go to the second sheet, I name this cell B so again I enter and then I go to the third sheet I name this cell C so just to confirm I can go to name manager and formulas to see that all of them is there so then you could go cell A plus cell B plus cell C which will give us exactly the same result so can you see the three ways First, you can just select them. You can just click on a sheet and select them. You can do this with other files as well. Or you can sum exactly the same locations on every sheet and do a sum formula. Or you can use cell name defining. Now, the one thing I want to show you, if I rename the sheet, I just add spaces. My formula will automatically increase the names as well. But what's important here, can you see that this sheet, when I'm referring to this sheet, there's no spaces in. So it hasn't got the commas there. But in this sheet, I've added spaces. So it adds this comma on top there. So that's important. If you use more advanced formulas where you need to populate the specific names, you need to understand that when you use spaces, you will need that commas.